you remember I told you uh, we were going to get to the laugher curve? Well, here's the setup for it. This is clip number 11, and uh, this is uh, Scott Walker talking about Kohl's. Kohl's is a uh, uh, department store in a chain in, in the upper Midwest in Wisconsin, and uh, that, that has, you know, does bargains and things. Uh, it's, it's a little more locally owned, I believe. Uh, so here's Scott Walker talking about that. So over the, so years, over the years, I've, I've learned if I'm going to go buy a new shirt, I go to that rack that says it was $29.99, and now it's $19.99. And then we go up to the cash register, and we get out the insert from the Sunday newspaper, you know, the little scratch-off one there. Or maybe we get the flyer we got back at home, right? Where you get 15 or 20, or if you're really lucky, 30% off, right? You know what I'm talking about. And then as the clerk is ringing it up, Toinette scoops into her purse and pulls out some of that Kohl's cash. And next thing you know, they're paying me to buy the shirt. Right? We're not really, but it seems like it, right? So how does a great company like Kohl's make money? They make it off of volume, right? They make it off of volume. You see, they could charge that higher price and a few of you could afford it, but they lower the price, broaden the base, and they make more money off of volume. That's what I think about your money, the taxpayer's money. You see, the government could charge you a higher rate and some of us could afford it, but if you lower the rate, broaden the base, we expand the volume of people who can participate in the economy. Like, you know, the flat tax. Let's, let's lower the tax on rich people, raise the tax on poor people, flatten it out, have more poor people paying taxes. Now they've got skin in the game. This was, this was the essence of Mitt Romney's 47% comment. And here, with clip 12, he continues talking about the Laffer curve, this discredited crackpot economic theory that Ronald Reagan imposed on America. Years ago, we used to call that a similar plan, uh, was, was successful under President Ronald Reagan. And back then, we used to call it the Laffer Curve. Today, I call it the Coles Curve. Right, the Coles Curve. Because, you know, like, if you lower the price, that's the same thing as lowering taxes. And somehow, magically. And, and the Laffer Curve has turned out, you know, so well for America. He, really. I mean, trust me.